We have apologised for the mistakes that we made um, in our historic sanctions regime. Um, and I'm happy again to repeat those, repeat those apologies. And we are talking about a period some time ago, so in the 2001 to 2007 period. And absolutely, I take your point that our values, I think, rolled out effectively initially in 2003 and started to be right. measured from that point. And all we can say is that we continue to focus on those values. We appraise our people against them consistently and we right. adjust how we assess their performance, not just in terms of how we remunerate them, but actually in terms of other aspects of performance on values as well as on what they do. If we take, for example, now the EU's proposal, the EC's proposed bonus restrictions, yeah. and you tie it in with the Swiss vote uh, on corporate pay, I'm assuming that Standard Chartered is against the EC's proposals on limiting bonuses in the formula that they're putting forward. Absolutely, we think that the measures will hurt or damage the competitiveness of EU located banks and they, they compete, we compete um, with banks in Asia and the American banks in Asia and the Middle East and Africa who will not be subject in the same way to those restrictions and we want to be able to pay our people for good performance for what they do and how they do it and so I think the concern here is actually what does it do for the competitiveness of banks located in right. the EU and over 95% of standard chartered staff are located outside the EU. So obviously, if these rules come in, you will abide by them. You'll have to, uh, as indeed all banks. Do you fear if the EU rules come in, it will put European institutions... Basically, you will turn around at, at board meetings and say, eh, let's move as much as we can, or let's keep them the, the lowest minimum necessary in Europe, and we'll put the rest elsewhere. Standard Chartered has roughly 2,000 people in Europe and we employ 89,000 people around the world. Over 90% of our business derives actually right. from Asia. Um, uh, clearly we will um, abide, um, comply with any, any, any rules. What I would simply reiterate is first of all it's too early to think about the specific impact for Standard Chartered but secondly we do right. believe that those measures will um, reduce competitiveness of EU based institutions as they seek to engage globally in trade, finance and other aspects of banking business across the world. What's your one biggest economic concern now? Is it US budgetary issues? Is it remaining Eurozone uh, issues or is it slow down in Asia and possibly China with a more hard landing than we thought which would it be across the globe sir I don't think I would highlight any of those however as an individual I think all of those are very relevant and we need to watch them I would also add one which is the impact of regulation and to make sure that regulation doesn't impede economic growth